Guys, welcome to TFL Camper Corner. On this episode, I'm gonna show you this brand new toy hauler camping trailer, which is one of the most luxurious, one of the most well-built, and also one of the most capable uh, trailers you will find out there. Uh, what is it? Well, it's the ATC 2917 Game Changer Pro Series. And this bad boy can haul all of your toys, including potentially your Jeep, because this thing, not only does it have, well, a bedroom and extra space and a kitchen, but it also has a payload capacity of about 5,600 pounds inside and it's also gigantic. So let me start with the foundation to see what uh, this trailer is built on. And also in this video, I'm gonna of course tell you what type of truck or an SUV you need to actually tow this trailer on your next adventure. So let's get going. I interrupt this video for this week's TFL Bids Bargain. As you know, we have many cool trucks and off-road SUVs for sale, but this time it's a movie star. We're selling our very own 2004 Ford F-150 four-wheel drive. This truck appeared in our popular to hell and back no payment needed series. It's been updated with a few parts. It has a suspension lift, brand new tires. It has a 4.6 liter V8. All the details are at tflbits.com. Use the link below, check it out. And don't forget, use the submit link to actually sell your own truck or off-road SUV on our site and have it go to a like-minded enthusiast. And of course, at the end of this video, I'm also gonna tell you exactly how much this costs and also what other models of trailers uh, they offer. But let's start with the foundation. Like I said, this trailer is all aluminum. As you know, aluminum is lighter weight and it's also very solid and it won't rust. But take a look at this tongue. First of all, it's a really extended tongue here. Here you have your propane canisters. Right here you have your power jack. I'm jacked up just a little bit right now, as you can see. This jack's capacity is around 3,500 pounds. So that's more than enough for the tongue weight of this trailer. Uh, the gross vehicle weight combined weight of this trailer that's capable of is about 13,200 pounds. <laughs> yes, that's how it gets that massive payload capacity. But take a look at this construction. So this frame up here in the front, it's actually a two by eight aluminum frame right there. You can see that it's massive. It's very, very strong right here in this compartment. It's basically a place for a generator and ATC generally puts a Cummins Onan 5500 watt generator. Right here, this model does not have it hooked up, but there is wiring and everything else um, available here to make it work. And of course, if you want, you know, a generator, you just select that option and get it. And also, if you have a truck, maybe like the F-150 hybrid, you don't need a generator, right? You can actually uh, power some of the accessories off of your uh, built-in truck system. Although, I wouldn't recommend using a half-ton truck like the F-150 to pull this because fully loaded, it's kind of outside of the reach of a half-ton truck. I'll talk about that a little bit later. So, yeah, it starts with a massive aluminum frame and foundation. And then they built this entire body also out of aluminum framing. So uh, it's very, very strong. And that's why uh, it is a very premium and also quite expensive trailer. Let's keep going a little bit more along the side. Of course, frameless windows, it looks very nice. Over here is another access point to this front storage compartment. And here's, of course, is your power cable, your you know, shore power right there. All of that, of course, is provided. And if you look inside really quick, you can see some of the components is, are easy to get to. So if you're trying to fix something or diagnose an issue or a problem, you can do it very easily. Right here is your payload number. So in case you don't believe me, it is over 5,600 pounds of payload on this puppy. And of course, I'll show you the rear compartment. It's really huge. Of course, from the very tongue of the trailer to the very back, it's about 35 feet long. 
and you can tell this is a very tall trailer. I'm about 6'2". I'm reaching up here. Yeah, it's really tall, but this is needed uh, for everything you will see inside. So what ATC does, they actually build their own aluminum door frame. And why do you do that? Well, it's because it needs to be able to carry a vehicle that you're loading, including maybe even a Jeep. And this trailer overall is eight and a half feet wide. You know, that's the maximum width you can, you know, easily tow on a highway by regulation. And the walls are pretty, pretty skinny. Of course, this one is equipped with a lot of different options, including, you know, side couches and the bed, the happy jack bed that comes down from the top and slides down so you could sleep. This model comes with dual air conditioning units. So you can kind of see some of these outlets right here. Um, once again, aluminum cabinetry with height adjustable uh, shelves right there. Everything feels high quality and also lightweight. Everything is aluminum. Of course, this empty trailer weighs, what, just a little bit over 7,000 pounds. So yes, this trailer is really hefty by itself. This wall is basically uh, water safe. So if there, is, if there is mud over here near the floor somewhere, you can actually wash it out, wash out the garage. Just make sure the tongue of the trailer is high. So all the water just kind of rushes out. This way you don't get any water into your living compartment back here. Also, these are optional. So these couches are optional and they're mounted on this kind of rail system. You can see here and you can move these things around. Here you have, of course, some drawer systems. Once again, everything is aluminum. There's really no like wood products here in the construction of this trailer. You have your stove. You've got, of course, your, all your windows with shades, your TV, your stereo system, also your DVD player, your microwave, of course, your fridge. Let me show you this, pretty large pretty large fridge of course this is a brand new unit so it's not super ready for uh, the next adventure but it can be easily prepared and of course big thanks to complete trailers a dealer right here in Colorado who sell and actually equip these trailers just for your needs so let's keep moving as with most uh, trailers these these days this solid step system is here and why is this nice? Well, the step system is actually goes all the way on the ground. So this is a very solid system. So it's not hanging off the trailer. And I'm a pretty heavy guy. Um, I'm not gonna tell you how much I weigh, but still, um, I feel really comfortable actually entering. Surprise! Well, just check out the size of this restroom. So first of all, this is your shower stall and you have this adjustable bar. So if you're not using the shower, it can go this way. If you are using the shower, it goes this way, provides you a lot of space and area. Like I said, I ju I'm just over 6'2". Look at how much space I have above me. That's why, you know, the high ceilings are not only good for getting your Jeep into the garage area, it's also great for you when you're using your shower and restroom. And also two people can actually be in here at the same time. So somebody might be using the sink. Um, somebody, you know, maybe is in the shower, whatever it may be. Of course, here's your toilet right here. So right here in the nose of the trailer, you can kind of see the leading edge of it right here. Uh, of course, your window is over there. This is a queen size bed right here with the mattress. And underneath the bed is a very large storage compartment. You can see it's approximately um, two feet high here. So a lot of giant, uh, you know, can put a lot of your stuff down here. So here in the bedroom area, there's also this closet space. You can see you can put some hangers up there and store your clothes. And down here, it's also kind of a utility space. Some of your water pumps are here, some of your plumbing, some of your uh, tanks. This is a three season trailer, so it will not survive 
winter if, if you you know you cannot really camp during the winter month when it's really below freezing but it, if it's near 32 degrees Fahrenheit um, this trailer could be okay if you have all the heaters running and stuff like that it's just not a four season trailer so don't expect to take this out in the middle of the winter uh, with all the water and all the features going by the way uh, there's a fan here also so there's also two fans two air conditioners two fans and also one piece roof this is very unique to ATC trailers the whole roof of the trailer is one piece aluminum sheet so basically there's no seams no places to leak um, they construct this in one go and then kind of attach it together so let's go outside really quick um, I'll tell you the price but also show you a couple of surprises before I go outside though here's one of the main control panels for all the lights etc here's your main power for 12 volt systems you can run a lot of your LED lights this way um, of course you can check your battery level your water levels for fresh black and gray I mean, you've seen this before. And also, this has a fuel station on board. So if you're fueling up your toys, I'll show you that in a, in a second. Um, that's in the front. So let's go outside and check it out. And also when you're considering what truck to get uh, to pull one of these trailers, it's also important to have towing mirrors that can be uh, extendable like this, because like I said, the trailer is eight and a half feet wide. The truck is not. Um, so you do need to have extra reach to actually see beyond the trailer and be safe. Also, this ATC trailer is equipped or pre-wired for a backup camera on the back of the trailer with using the Voyager system. So if you want additional visibility, you can actually plug in an extra camera back there and boom, you're on the highway. All right, let me show you this uh, passenger side of the trailer. So right here in the front, like I was saying, this is your fuel station. This is your hose where you can fill up your toys, your motorcycles, whatever you wanna bring. So all of that is available. Let me put this back away here. And then, of course, there's lights and a almost a full length awning. As you can tell, it's almost over here. So it's about, I wanna say a 25 or 26 foot long awning, which is amazing. But you could also, uh, using this awning, entertain people outdoors. So you have a couple of things. You can plug in your uh, TV antenna. You have your power outlets here. A little bit more power, but now look under here. Yep, that's a stereo system. That's a speaker right there. And you can also see some of the underneath, the frame of this trailer and how tough it's built. Um, everything is aluminum, like I said. There's a, another speaker down here for the outdoors and there's this uh, spare tire carrier so it's sitting actually underneath the trailer but here let's see what the ground clearance is approximately well no it's probably 16 inches if you consider the tanks and everything like that so um, yeah it's got good clearance so you can actually take it to the trailhead somewhere set it up and have this wonderful big uh, game-changing trailer because I've I've seen several other toy haulers and just this sheer capability of payload and also the build quality um, is hard to compare uh, those to this ATC trailer. So finally, price and what trucks will be able to pull it. So this unit with an optional, if you add the generator, if you add some of the other things we've saw like the couches, the dinette, some of the other equipment, the price is 85,000 bucks. So yes, that's quite pricey. Yes, it's not about 45 grand as you may see with another trailer, but uh, here's the thing. You can buy this trailer and not worry about it for decades. Because like I said, it doesn't, has a one piece roof, doesn't leak. So it has a lot of goodness about it. And it's also fairly easy to tow, but you do need something like this. You do need, potentially a three quarter ton 2500 series truck something like also an f-250 or a ram 2500 why well because at maximum load let's say you put everything in it including your water all your supplies your toys at 13,000 pounds gross vehicle trailer weight it's outside of the capability of most half-ton trucks 
And also the tongue weight is about, what, 1,300 pounds, fully loaded, maybe 1,400 pounds, because it's a longer tongue. Uh, yeah, you need a heavy duty truck to pull it. Preferably even a diesel if you're going in the mountains, so you can actually crest those mountains easily without worrying about anything. And there's no SUV that can pull this trailer, unfortunately. Even the biggest ones, like the Jeep Grand Wagoneer, even that's rated as only 10,000 pounds maximum tow rating. So you do need a three-quarter ton truck or even a one-ton truck or something like that uh, to pull this comfortably. Um, but this is the biggest model they sell, this 2917. You can also go smaller. And we also have another video coming up where we review a, just a 20-footer, just a very simple and more affordable trailer. As always, go back to tfltruck.com for all the latest news views and real world truck and camping trailer reviews. Thanks.